accounting tutorial we're going to take a look at completing the worksheet and on this worksheet there's only three adjustments uh, the first one notice there's a twenty nine hundred and thirteen dollar uh, amount uh, debit amount under interest expense and a twenty nine hundred and thirteen dollar credit to bank so that is an interest amount that was paid so it would be uh, twenty nine hundred and thirteen dollars under interest expense uh, expenses are always a debit balance and two thousand nine hundred thirteen dollars has come out of the bank account so that's why there's a twenty nine hundred and thirteen dollar credit under bank hundred dollars has been credited out of accounts receivable accounts receivable is normally a debit balance and a hundred dollars into allowance for doubtful accounts so that's amount that's a one hundred dollar amount that's been a bad debt that's been written off it has to come out of accounts receivable and goes into allowance for doubtful accounts the last thing is uh, supplies started at two thousand twelve thousand six hundred dollars and there's a two thousand dollar credit here so um, two thousand dollars of supplies have been used so that's why two thousand dollars is credited out of supplies and there's a two thousand dollar debit to supplies expense now when you're completing a worksheet uh, you have to total all the columns. So trial balance knows all the debits. Uh, they sum to $317,286. All the credits uh, sum to exactly the same amount. If those amounts are not the same, then you have made an error. Same under adjustments, or perhaps you've omitted something. Uh, adjustments, uh, the three numbers total to $5,013, and under uh, the credit balance, same three numbers total to $5,013. Now, to complete the um, balance sheet, everything from bank to drawings comes over to the balance sheet. And so uh, the one exception to that is the inv merchandise inventory. It's shown on both the uh, debit and the uh, income, uh, the balance sheet and the income statement because uh, it's, an, um, it's an assets that the, the company has. But for the income statement, it's used for calculating the cost of goods sold. So it's in both. Uh, this uh, 57,960 is the beginning inventory for the year, and the 55,124 is the ending inventory for the year. So when you have two amounts, you uh, add or subtract them depending on whether they're debits or credits to get the new amount in the balance or balance sheet or income statement. So for example, bank is $18,012, where uh, we have a $2,913 credit. So to get this amount right here, we would type equals and we want that amount so we'll click on that cell minus this amount and we'll hit enter and so that's fifteen thousand ninety nine dollars is the eighteen thousand twelve minus twenty nine thirteen uh, same with uh, accounts receivable uh, type equals and it's this cell minus this cell and that's that amount for allowance for doubtful accounts is normally a credit balance so the credit balance we take the 520 here so the 520 minus the 100, which is in uh, K11. And so that's the new amount there. Uh, the merchandise inventory, this amount here should be the same as the beginning inventory. And for the balance sheet, uh, this amount right here is the same as the ending inventory. Uh, supplies are treated very similar to the bank and accounts receivable because it's the 12,600 minus 2,000. So here we'll go equals and it's this amount minus the 2,000 cell, which is that amount there. And the now the next several in a row, right down to drawings, there's no amount, no adjustments here. So you could actually just copy. I'm just going to copy, so control C and stick this amount here there we go so that's the same amounts that are uh, right over here now for uh, revenue and actually we can do the same with all of these there's no amounts to add or subtract to any of these so all of these amounts right here and actually the interest expense and supplies as well control C and we're going to stick these under income statement starting right there and then these two can come over here as well and uh, so and actually we don't need this double line here but I'm not going to worry about it in the in the tutorial okay now so we have all the amounts in the uh, uh, income statement and balance sheet and uh, in order to get what the um, 
Uh, let's do the uh, finish the income statement here first. Uh, let's sum all of these numbers from bank, and actually it's just these uh, three val uh, four values here. So right down in in this cell right here, I'm going to type uh, equals the sum, and it's the numbers in column O from the first one's O12. That's the fifty-five thousand one twenty-four. So O12 and then colon and the last one here actually is O29 to O29 close the bracket hit enter so 131,764 is the total of that amount and we'll do the same thing for uh, these amounts here and I don't know why we didn't get a 2000 here for some reason that didn't copy over and I think it's because it's a formula this amount uh, is actually uh, just copied from cell L12 so we could actually just type in the 2000 here there we go so uh, this amount right here is the sum of all the numbers in column N so N and the top one is N12 so we'll type a 12 colon and the last one is N40 here that's the supplies expense 40 and we'll hit enter and that's 109,094 now the uh, difference between the two of these is the net income so that's what goes right in here notice it says net income here so if we take uh, here equals and it's the O 41 amount so o41 minus and you can't see the amount here right now but it's in uh, n41 so 22,670 dollars is net, net income and so for the final balance right down uh, here uh, that's just the sum of these two so we type equals and it would be uh, n41 and n42 so N41 plus N42. And so those are those are the same. Now we want to sum all the numbers from bank right down to uh, the drawings and put that right here and actually right down here as well. So this would be the sum from and it's in column Q so Q9 Q9 and then colon Q and the last number actually this 31,168 is in uh, row 23 so Q23 close the bracket so that's 263,116 and we'll do the same with these here so equals the sum and it's in column R this time and the top number is this 30,500 uh, that's number 15 in row 15 colon R and the last number the 90,828 is the capital so it's in row 22 so R22 and of course those should uh, generally not be the same um, Notice that the 240 is uh, is less than the 263,000, and so remember what goes right here is the net, in net income amount. So we could actually just equals and it's cell N42. So we could just type the amount or uh, N42, and so these amounts here, right at the bottom, it's just the sum of the two above which is um, and it's in column R and it's R41 so that's R41 all the way across here and I could have just done them individually I guess and uh, R42 And we seem to be off here a little bit.
Now, this amount should go right down here. And that's uh, cell Q41. And notice that these two numbers aren't the same. They're actually pretty close. Uh, I just noticed an error I made above. The uh, 420 here, um, allowance to oathful accounts is normally a credit balance. So this 520 minus 100 should not be in that cell. It should actually be right over here. So let me fix that. So that should be right over here. So equals, and that's uh, this cell minus this amount. There we go. And uh, I do have to change this formula because it starts at R15. So I should actually change the 15 to 11 because the 420 is in cell R11. And then I should have it balancing. So 263,216, 263,216. These two amounts are the same. Those are the same. Net income is 22,670. And that would be the end of the worksheet.